Check out this damn Chimera Valley. You ready? Oh. That is clean. That's what we want to see. Mate, they keep emoting me. What's going on? They're trying to psychologically throw me off. Little do they know I'm equipped for these circumstances. bribery wow can they use that mage torture oh crap do i enjoy torture perhaps a bit Go on, hit a high powered unit. Come on. Why won't inside you when an outside go squishy? Crap. I've got spear tip, man. should have played in <laughs> damn it oh no <laughs> oh crap we didn't know oh we didn't know what's up everyone welcome back to another deck guide for today i've put together a monsters list for you now as you all know my monsters card reveal will be occurring tomorrow so to celebrate the deck that i'm going to be showing you all before that comes out has to be a monsters deck right now before we get into this guide if you're not already yet subscribed to this channel please do so now it would really help me out my current goal is to reach 5,000 subscribers i would really appreciate it so this is a high tempo swarm list that i've put together using the araka swarm leader ability one that we don't really see played often at all this allows us to spawn a drone on an allied row we have five charges whenever you play an organic card spawn drone on a random allied row so the drone is that token unit you see there leader ability is going to be used in a fairly specific way you can play one charge of leader when you're committing pugo for some good value there the other instances you're going to use leader ability would perhaps be round two and three and you use leader to synergize with Arrakis Behemoth to make this card play for higher value. And additionally, you can combine it with spontaneous evolution to get more drones and you have Chimeras to consider playing it out with, okay? So Magic Lamp is the stratagem. We just get this token unit that you see here. This obviously when we go first. What I'm going to do is run you through this list bottom up and explain how best to play each card and when to play it during a match. So at the bottom of this list, we have a number of bronze cards that we can be begin going through. Look at the Andrega eggs here. Deathwish, spawn three drones in this row. This card's good because it's given us more of these token insectoid units, which can work great with Chimera. Andrega eggs are pretty flexible to be used in this deck. You can use it any time in a match, really. Obviously, you're going to try to commit it, though, when you're, when you're considering to play Chimera. So I think it would probably come out around 2 and 3. And you'd want to save this in combination to be played with the Andrega Warrior. Because, obviously, we need a way to activate that card's Death Wish. So you can play Andrega Warrior onto the eggs. By doing so, this unit will develop us even more Insectoids. And we get more drones out of that card too. 
So this card and that one that I've just showed you, it's a bit of a combination. You want to save together round two or three, followed up by the Chimeras being played. So what Indrega Warrior allows us to do is consume adjacent units, spawn a drone in this row for each insectoid consume. Sometimes you could play Indrega Warrior between two drones because you'll produce more drones anyway. But like I said, it's going to be safe for Indrega eggs most of the time. We do have Pella in this deck to purify a unit. So we're running the Beast in this deck and also Sleeping Spear Tip, which is the main reason why I have Pella because those cards, they might get poisoned or they might get locked. So Pella will give us some good value that way in order to remove those statuses so we can keep those units working. Additionally, Pella's really good against your opponent's resilience units and defenders because you might want to heat wave something that's behind your opponent's defender. So Pella could be handy in some situations. Use it as you need to during a match. We've got Spores here. Reset the power of a unit. Obviously, this is going to be a boosted unit um, that we're looking to target with this. Because it's an organic card, we're getting a drone spawned in a random allied row as well. So extra value playing spores in a deck like this. Double Arrakis Nest, organic card, good with our leader again. Spawn four drones in an allied row of your choice. And remember, you're going to get an extra drone spawned out of this. I'd like to play Arrakis Nest round two or three with the Chimeras and Arrakis Behemoth. Make those cards play at a higher value. With the Chimeras, as I explained, I believe this card will provide us more value in round two or three, according to its adrenaline, and also the way we're looking to play this deck. So the deploy is that you get to consume an allied unit, adrenaline five, boost all copies of consumed unit in that unit's row by one. So the idea with Chimera is that you wanna stack all of those one powered insectoid tokens on a single row, and then you'll be playing Chimera out on Adrenaline 5, getting lots of great tempo at that time. Um, keep in mind, because it consumes, you could use this on the Andrega eggs as well, but that's not the most optimal play. Use it when you're swarming the token units. We do have Griffin in this deck. Um, I mean, in a deck like this, you could play Griffin for deploy, but still... We have Imlareth in this deck that we're looking to thin the Griffin out with. So we're not looking to play Griffin for deep at all. We want one Griffin in hand for Imlareth and we want the other in deck always for Mamuna. And that's how we're looking to play them. One's going to get discarded. One's going to get thinned out from the board. Um, from the deck, pardon me. Spontaneous Evolution, Organic Card. Boost an ally unit by four. You're gaining an additional effect based on the unit's category. So because we're going to be targeting the drones, we get to spawn three drones on the boosted units row as well. Spontaneous evolution should be good. Round two and three. Use it with Arrakis Behemoth and Chimeras once again. Keep in mind, you can also play it for the beast um, option there. Boost that unit by eight in some cases because we do have Chimera, which is a beast. Uh, in addition to that, you also have Griffin, and toad prince so we've got a few different beasts in this deck too but try to play it for the swarming value and sometimes if you want to set up swarming value you could commit like one leader token and then use evolution on it to get more tokens spread across the board to give our deck some flexibility and what it can do we have this unit here which locks so try to save this for an important engine of your opponents as best as possible Old Spear Tip Asleep. So we do have this card that you see here in our deck. We always want to keep that in deck and have it thinned out through the use of this card, Old Spear Tip Asleep. Basically, after three turns have passed, this card banishes itself. This card will come out and this card will get boosted by this card's power and becomes an 18 power Spear Tip, which Osril can consume at the end of a match for big points. You could play this card round one, round two, the latest, I would suggest. Then we've got the Beast, just to give some extra options of pressure we can apply it during a match. At the end of your turn, if this unit is not the unit with the highest power on the battlefield, boost it by two. So it's a two point per turn engine. 
as long as an, there's another unit with a taller power. I like to play either Beast out round one to help getting round control or round two as well because we're likely to have cards like Spear Tip out, Mamuna, Imlareth in those times. So the Beast should get some good value that way. Hugo Boom Breaker. The deploy is that you damage a random allied unit by three. If there are no allies, damage self by five. So what we want to do is the first thing going into a round, when you know you're going to commit Pugo, you want to use one leader charge and then play him just to make sure we're only damaging a one power token. And therefore this card will play for 10 strength, which is pretty nice. You might want to play this in a short round three, um, opening up into the round or round two to bleed. Uh, it's really flexible to use actually during a match. I would just say you probably don't want to use it round one. But round two or three should be good. Osral is our final play at the end of a match. We're playing it range through. Consume a unit from your graveyard. The target for Osral will be old spear tip optimally. Bear in mind, I've got Pugo in this deck just in case something goes wrong. So we have a backup plan as well. So it's either going to be spear tip or Pugo at the end of a match. More control. We have Toe Prince, Deploy Melee consume a unit with four or less power usually you want to play toad prince um right when you see the option to do so because last thing you want to do is play toad prince round three short round situation and you've got no decent targets to get value out of or have it being a dead card for you so i reckon round one or two usually you want to go ahead and commit toad arrakis behemoth spawn two drones and boost all other insectoids in this row by one. In my opinion, Arrakis Behemoth can come out round two or three. You would be combining Behemoth at that time with Spontaneous Evolution, Arrakis Nest, Chimeras, and Leader Ability. Imlareth, you played on the melee row, draw a card, then discard a card. If the discarded card was a unit, boost off by its power. As I said, we're looking to discard the Griffin through the use of Imlareth. This can occur round one to help you get round control. It's pretty good tempo. Or round two latest would be best because we want to prioritize thinning as early as possible to make sure we get the rest of our gold cards in deck. Nugglefar, look at two random gold cards from your deck. Then you're playing one and placing the other on top. For the most, for the most part, um, round two is the best time to play a Nugglefar when you're a bit more certain of what golds you're likely to play out and pull. And you definitely don't want to leave it later than that because it does help us get a number of golds from our deck set up. Crimson Curse is pretty solid. Um, I do like to play it around one to help with round control. It gives us good points and delivers nice damage. Spawn Blood Moon on an enemy row for five turns. Then spawn two Ekimaras in the opposite row. There's token units that you see there. It's an organic card, so it's going to give us a drone as well. You kind of want to wait till your opponent has a few units on a row. Um, and then play Crimson Curse out. Just so you're, you're delivering consistent damage. And your opponent doesn't evade potential bleeding given as well. Keep that in mind. With Heat Wave, you get to banish a unit or an artifact. It's a tall punish option for us in this deck. Typically, you'd save this um, at the end of a match, but you know you can use this to banish your opponent's scenario or something with a very tall power or a strong engine any time during the match that you think it's worth it. This card is always going to be in our deck and it will get thinned out through old spear tip asleep. That's it. Simple. We're not playing this on the deploy. And then we've got Mamuna, which grants us excellent tempo. So she's got an order ability. You banish a bronze unit from your graveyard and boost, boost self by its power. Then summon a copy of it from your deck to this row. Um, be careful that if it's Sabbath, we're playing the copy. It shouldn't be incredibly awful if we play it for Sabbath because we're likely to have a lot of one power tokens lying around that you could destroy. But still, you, you'd kind of want to open up into round two or three, playing Mamuna first thing, ensuring that one griffin is in deck and the other one is graveyard before you commit this card. So now that I've outlined the list, let me explain how to execute the strategy for this deck. 
the line of play i would suggest you take round one could be you could open up with old spear tip of sleep you have Imlareth to discard a griffin you also have crimson curse to play out you could commit toad prince lock beast those kinds of cards and maybe some bronzes obviously you know using those golds sparingly you don't want to go ahead and throw them all out but those are some combinations that you could use um you definitely want to push hard for round control with this deck the whole aim with this deck is really just to bleed the opponent and we're either going to go 2-0 or we're going to go hard into a round two bleed and finish up with a short round three we're not really looking for a long round with this deck it's a very straightforward simple strategy we're looking to play it that way every time so into round two you could go ahead open up with mamuna um or if you want you could use a leader charge play pugo first then you have cards to commit such as the chimeras arrakis behemoth like i said if it's looking like a 2-0 situation and you're way ahead on points go ahead and just play all your cards out and 2-0 if not for a short round three bear in mind you could finish up with a big osral play um you have tall punish option play nuggle fire round two make sure that's done first and you still have some swarming potentials if you didn't commit every chimera round two um spontaneous evolution those kinds of cards so hope you're going to enjoy the following matches and thanks for your support as always all right Okay, not bad cards for round one. Uh, have you seen a Pyro technician? You can just get it out of there. Likely to play this next, I think. The legend. How are you, my friend? Pleasure to see you every time. The damn one and only true legend is in chat. Certified legend. Wow, that's an early Isengrim's Council. Usually see that used later. Pride is all we've left. Okay. Oh. Great to hear, great to hear. Yes, I'm doing well, thank you. I've built a monster's deck in celebration of my monster's card reveal tomorrow. Yeah, it's looking pretty wild, eh? There's a lot of interesting cards out. I'm just um, amazed, everyone that's coming out. Very interesting. Hackam guard, that's pretty good. Right. What's up, Golden? How are you? Thanks, Legend. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> you're welcome. Okay, I think um, I think we're passing here. Yeah? All right. <laughs> What's going on, Express? Yeah. Well, um, I asked for it, but yeah, everyone on my card reveals has been monsters. 
I always opt for it. You guys know me, man. It's my most played faction. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. It's going to be tomorrow, um, 2 p.m. CEST. And, well, my time here will be 10 p.m. when I release it. 10 p.m. at night for me. But yeah, the video is all ready to go. I wish I could release it now. So, is opponent likely to bleed if they have Zoltan? Yes, they are. Thank you. I love them. It feels most natural for me to play monsters, to be honest. Like, you know how you have a certain feel with a faction and like what to do? Like, um, intuitively, monsters feels like most natural to me, I'd say. Plus, they're really fun to play. It's like really straightforward how you play monsters, typically. So, okay, we could make pyrotechnician bad if I spawn drones. Thank you for the follow, appreciate it. So this way, pyrotechnician is likely to hit a one. Okay, so we have to set up our golds. We have to make sure we get Aussie. It makes sense to play Beast now because we've got an 11 here. Arrakis behemoth that we could throw down to. It's God. Yeah, he's cool. The beast. Unleash the beast. So it's either going to be Chimera or Arrakis Behemoth. That works pretty good there. Standard dwarves list, pretty much. Oh, always well in Still leaves it until they offload this, they're gonna keep playing. What are we using lock for? I should I should probably lock this. Our world is in <laughs> it's dwarf swarm versus insect swarm. Oh wow.
which which one um well insectoid would be pretty good i think it would be nice to see that we don't really see it played so they pass now i haven't seen arendite for a while yurden not your lucky day wow Yodin came out of nowhere. Deathwish? Yeah. Skellig is doing Deathwish stuff now. That's crazy. Uh, maybe Chimera. Yeah, okay. Right. Okay, that's good. The extra drone landed on the same row, makes Chimera better. Heat wave's just gonna be for the Arendite boost, I guess. Last card's Arendite. What's going on, James? How are you? Are they raging? Seriously? Oh, wow. Ozzy was great points. But um, Yodan was pretty good from them. I have not seen Yodan for a while. Yodan and Arendite together. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, we got Heat Wave as well. Whatever they were going to boost is just going to eat the Heat Wave. So they just completely disconnect. What's going on, you legend? Alright, we got it. That was pretty. Yeah, that's a very strong deck. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's Mill. Here's our chance. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We follow Letho. Oh, crap. Maybe just wait a bit. Time to get our hands dirty. Okay.
<laughs> either gonna steal it or destroy it. <laughs> so you love NG, but you got your lines, man. There's certain lines you will not cross, eh? Hey, what's up? How are you? If it's peace you desire, prepare for war. Yeah, you reckon, James? <laughs> so, people just consider it like no skill, right? That's actually a good sign. We didn't see Snowdrop when they played that. This should be a fine thing to do. Three, five. Gonna push hard. <laughs> it's just to irritate people. What? Mentor? Come forward, enough. Enough. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What on earth? What on earth is happening? Oh, it's an interesting deck. Um, are they still milling or what? Are they stopping? This could be risky. Let's throw that down. Get a play into it. Okay, the risk worked. We know we've got Osril. Got Mamuna. Just need a Griffin. We need a griffin and we're laughing, yes. Very good. One, two, be good. Let the magic commence. Could have been bad friends. They could have fit Griffin there. We can use evolution on Griffin. Maybe it's making it too tall, I don't know. This is super interesting. Is it worth heat wave though? Okay. I think I'll do it. I don't know what kind of strategy they're doing, so I'll just get it out of there. It's, it's a strong engine. Got to use my decoctions to your advantage. Yo, Sias, what's going on, my friend? Uh, 
strike fast. Leave it no chance to get it. Okay. We're gonna tour. Then have Yodin or something like that. It's our graveyard, isn't it? Yes. Thank you! Yes! We got it! Imprisonment. Yeah, it was a really bad roll for us. Yep. Like, we're, di we're discarding something good. Either way. I've probably got too many golds to go for Nugglefar. Um, so just get locked right away. I got Pella for it. The reveal is going to be 2 p.m. CEST tomorrow. I think the cards are sick. They're really cool. I'm really looking forward to building a lot of um, new decks. It's a good card. Monsters. And if I insert a needle here, what then? Okay, so they they prefer to go for um toad of a beast. Ye who wander on the gale, ye be summoned, ye be called. They've given me round control and they haven't played Calbate. It's fantastic. Spice scenario? Sounds interesting. Then G cards will come out this weekend. Okay, that's good. Got a lot of golds in there. Can I get a griffin to help with Imlareth somehow? Mate, don't ask me how I do it, alright? It just happens. It's, um... A lot of time played in the game and uh, positive energy. You begin to channel the nature of the card you speak of. <laughs> Just like the Wolverine, eh? Onward, sons of Get Calvate now. You should really bleed the crap out of them. So I've got to play Nugglefar sometime. Illusionist. The smallest illusionist you've seen in your days. Yes! Thank you. It's looking good. It's 
It's looking good, you absolute legends. Truffle. Watch close. They do have a lock. So this is not really going to do anything, is it? Will they try to answer this? Self-taught. Um, picked it up just like that, out of nowhere. It came instinctively to me. Um, no provision. Can be, in some situations. Yep. So you got three, six. Toad Prince was quite small there. Like I said, if I was them, I'd have went beast. I value but then again, they don't know my deck. Wow, well, so um, they have not, they have not locked this because they want to pull it with Vienna, right? Is that why? They're gonna pull it with Vienna. That's why they're letting it come out. They're going to use it for next round, they're hoping. It's bribery. Wow. Can they use that? Mage torture? Oh. Crap. Do I enjoy torture? Perhaps. A bit. Go on, hit a high powered unit. Come on. Why won't inside open and outside go squishy? Crap. I've got spear tip, man. I probably should have played in. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, crap. We didn't know. Oh, we didn't know. <laughs> Jeez. I thought they weren't going to make it. I saw Obsidian Mirror and like, they're screwed. Honestly, man, get out of here. Oh, damn, damn. This is when you need predatory dive in this deck. My loyalty 
Gives to Imperial coin, not to the face to pick. Her grace will not be pleased. I do not mince words mm. on that principle. Um, you thin it out using Sleeping Spear Tip, and the way that card works is its power goes into the base power of that. You will not regret this, good sir. Magic is a curse of blessing and progress. Is this, um, <laughs> if this is Sea Hill, how the hell do I play? <laughs> I'm spawning drones left, right, center, dude. Oh. <laughs> what do I do? Seriously. If it is that deck, I don't know how the hell we work around that. Because of the way the provisions are in the deck, I couldn't fit everything in there. This is my optimized version. Yeah, but you know the only thing will be is like, the thing with those decks, whenever there's a heavy control deck, I don't know how long they stick. That's the only problem. Worry not. We'll tend your ankle biters too. And now I shall not play anything else. <laughs> you shall not play another card at all from here on. You're barred from spawning any freaking token. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Tough matchup, isn't it? I'm trying to delay it as much as possible. Yeah, it is. I'm trying to delay the value. Exactly. <laughs> but um, I don't know how this is going to go now. I really don't know. I'll try. I'll try my best. Yeah, we got to spawn drones. That's what we do. It's absolutely what we do. 
so what am I using? I played Puga, I played Griffin, I discard that maybe? They got everything, Ritzy. You name it, they've got it. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Yo, be thankful it survived at least. <laughs> okay, so Nuggle Fight definitely. Pulls me Mamuna. avoid it now. Now we're just going for it. Can you die already? Or need I kill you again? It should have played it back row because it's failed. It could have saved some bleeding damage. on three need a hand just chop one off still got full leader at least so heat waves gonna be for King Bran or Sunset Wanderers. Still got bleeding damage going on. So we're hoping to get chimeras. Do some swarming. These, this, these. Good to get out. Not bad. Yeah, no doubt, Flo. You're still here, my man. <laughs> you went quiet for a bit, brother. I thought you may have left. But I know you. You're, you're a damn loyal supporter. Gotta respect it.
Yep, they got another as well. As if one wasn't enough. They use the um, artifact. This one. It helps them to get two. Fortunately, we're going kind of wide here. See, they're losing some value on the control. For monsters? Probably frost. White frost. Reading that. Me or me. <laughs> Finally. Yes. Listen, mate, I'm tired.